Hi, this is Daniel Paluzic with the VMware Cloud Provider Program. I'm here today to talk about the vCloud Availability 3.0. I'm going to walk you through the provider setup and what's actually the high-level uh, concepts and some of the different roles within 3.0. Uh, first off, uh, what I want to mention is everything is done through a single OVA. This OVA has every single role and service you may need. Um, you may have seen Cloud to Cloud 1.5. This is a combined OVA that actually has each of these and will deploy based off of those service roles that we're going to actually talk about today. So I'm going to start off from the bottom and work up here and talk about each of these roles. So first off, we're going to talk about the replication engine or cloud replicator. The cloud replicator is responsible for connecting to vCenters and actually providing that connectivity and uh, executing any type of replication work workflow. Moreover, we can continue to scale replicate, replication instances as needed to connect to one to many different vCenter instances in my provider environment. So next up, we have the replication manager. So the replication manager also connects to the replicator engines, but also has a connection to the vCenter and understands the hierarchy of vCenter objects, but also correlates and actually kicks off some of those operations that we need to protect virtual machines within a vCenter environment along with the corresponding vCloud uh, director environment. From there, we also talk to the cloud management uh, platform, which is our protection platform. And there's two functions within uh, the cloud management logical entity. There's the vApp service manager, that understands the constructs of vCloud director uh, environment, but also the UI portal. So the UI portal is where the provider would actually set up any type of uh, policies, but also walk through the initial wizard that would integrate inside of the replication manager, the replicator, connect to the corresponding vCenters, my lookup address, and also provide connectivity to my corresponding vCloud director environment. Next up, we have the cloud tunnel nodes. The tunnel nodes are responsible for providing that secure connectivity between a on-prem environment and a corresponding vCAV appliance, but also a vCloud environment. So this is actually bringing in that traffic, routing it between uh, the environment, and making sure that uh, we actually have that secure connectivity between uh, the overall architecture. And you know, just to give it a high-level overview of all the different ports, these are the corresponding ports needed for each of the roles uh, within uh, 3.0. Let me write these out. So once I have all the different roles deployed, I can start on the cloud management, uh, go through the wizard, set up my replication engine, go through the replicate, replication manager, my lookup address, my vCloud director environment, and then my corresponding tunnel nodes. For more information, uh, please go to vcpp.cloud. Next up, I'll talk about the on-prem setup and what you need to do uh, from there. Thanks, and have a great day.